Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, um, I'm hoping to do this in one foul swoop of a video, but I have been saving all of my single or double wick candles and they could be anywhere like brands from DW Home, Bath and Body Works, uh, Root Candle, things like that. So I wanted to share with you and yes, I know it seems really crazy, but I, I have a little bit of space. So until I run out of space, I will, what I've done um, with my Bath and Body Works three wicks is I, I save all of those candles ugh, for the whole year. And um, and then I let you guys know and show you what I've gone through and then out of those which ones which were my favorite and that's exactly what I'm going to do uh, here as well. So they already all have reviews on my channel and if I specifically can tell you if I really like I'll tell you if it's really good or if it was a total miss. Um, otherwise, I have a quite an extensive playlist on the, my YouTube channel here by brand. So if you're looking at Bath Body Works, DW Home, Root Candle, any of these things, you can look on the playlist and you can specifically find what you're looking for if you were curious. Um, again, I'm going to try to do this in one shot. I have a small Bath and Body Works bag and when I, and this is saying a lot because I'm pretty strong, I think, but this is an entirely large, extra large bag of empties. <sighs> All right. Just gonna pull and show there's absolutely zero um, order to this at all. I tried my very first Fanny Bay Company, which is off of Vancouver Island candle in Mulberry. So there's that, I'm just gonna put that up there. Root Candle Blue Basil, one of my favorite scents from Root Candle. I'm trying to find room because it's gonna get full soon. Pick this up at Winners, it was Yankee Candles Home Classics Autumn Festival. Oh yeah, and what's on my lips is from Buxom. It's their full-on lip cream in purple, purple haze. So it's not as drastic purple as it seems in the bottle. So, kind of nice. Uh, pumpkin apple. Look how crazy that wig was. I had, I, know I said that on my channel. I was like, I stopped it because A, the wick went way, like <laughs> north, south, whichever way you want to look at it. It smells great, uh, but it went out of control, so I was not about to mess around with that. Safety first. Black Cherry Merlot. I realize I don't enjoy this in candle form as much as the uh, soap. I really enjoy the soap. So this is the Autumn Candle. I love these little labels with the animals. So this is the One Wick from Bath & Fireworks in Autumn. And this was Sweater Weather. Again, like that's super cute and creative too. Like it's... Decolletage, decolletage, oh, decolletage, what am I trying to say? Where you, anyway, where you piece things, I don't know. It will come to me, probably the weirdest time, probably at three in the morning when I wake up and go, ah, that's that word I was trying to think of in the, in the movie, in the video, oh my god. Ah, slow down my brain. All right, <clears throat> Yankee Candles Moroccan Argon Oil, which I did pick up at Canadian Winners. This one, uh, actually turned out to be kind of gross and that's why I stopped burning it. Um, that was also a review on my channel. <clears throat> Same with this one. DW Holmes Monster Mash, which is black tobacco. No, it uh, it tunneled really badly actually. Normally I don't get, DW Home candles aren't so bad. Um, that one really tunneled and it started stinking. One of my favorites, of course, and thank you to Ramona for sending this to me, Peppermint Bark by DW Home. This is a three wick candle. I love it. I burn this on the night that I uh, do my tree, and then from there on after, the tr I normally put my Christmas tree up on the 12th of November, so the day after Remembrance Day, or Veterans Day, depending on where you're from. Hazelnut Latte from Root, although I like Root Candle, but this just didn't have any throw for me. Unfortunately, um, so, unfortunately, but this one was amazing. <clears throat> I got this one in the summertime. This is sun-dried cotton, also from Root Candle with the new lids that they did there. Or, whoops, upside down. Uh, this this uh, sun-dried cotton was fantastic. If you like a fresh, clean scent, it's really good. Another one that I, yeah, I stopped burning about here. There's still about that much left is Candy Corn by DW Home. I have had this for now for two years, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the bad burn and then the stink that comes afterwards. Mulled Cider by Root. Uh, this is their old packaging now. Love these travel tins. I feel like these travel tins do really, really well, and for such a small tin, 
the throw in those ones are tremendous. I don't know if they put more oils in those, but they're for like such a small little candle. It, they have all of mine that pretty much have that I've burnt because Josh sent me quite a few of those last year, a year ago, and almost all of those travel size tins threw really well. Ginger Mango from Aquise. Now this was the Buzz Candle of 2015, I want to say. So I did buy so many of them that I, or 15 or 16, could be in 2016. I bought so many of them that I was still burning them in 2017 as well. This one, I was at the grocery store. It didn't work out so good, unfortunately. It, uh, so you can sort of see, look what happened to the wicks there. Yeah, again, safety issues. A brand that I really, really, really wanted to love because they are Canadian and they've got quite the buzz and they, you know, all those swag bags that famous people really ought not to need to get because they already have a gazillion dollars. But, you know, swag bags at like the Grammys or the Oscars, there's like hundreds of thousands of dollars in them sometimes worth of product. Um, I know this company got into like one of them. I think it might have been the Grammys or some sort of award show. Um, anyways, Cole and Canary Candle Company, and this one's in Crimped Hair and Truth or Dare. No, it didn't work out for me, <clears throat> unfortunately. Um, and I think one of the bigger issues, one of the bigger issues, is the soot. But also, too, I don't feel this company puts enough glue on the base of the. It's a wood wick. I don't feel like they put enough glue on the base, like the metal base that holds that wood wick, because once you get to a certain point, all of my candles like shifted. Like the, the, the base, the wick, the wick base shifted. And that becomes kind of an issue, obviously, um, and hazard. So I'm not gonna repurchase any more from them. Um, not anytime, no, I don't think I'm repurchasing at all, actually. So I got this at Winners, Sea Salt and Melon uh, Vivid Collection DW Home. There's also uh, lots of kitty cats on this. Did not have any luck with throw. The cuteness of the cats, yeah, it's cute. That's, you know, where it kind of lied and ended for me. I know lots of people found lots of these and they were really mild on strength when I picked them up in the store and that should have been an indicator when I did burn them. Oh, here we go, we got some more of these. Um, I've got, I'm sure that if there, there might be more. Oh, there is, hold on. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to go super. Oh, filming at this time of year, I have to film at this window. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm just trying to make some room so I can get the little, oh my goodness. All right, I think I got all of them that I need. Okay, first of all, uh, DW, or sorry, my apologies, Root Candle sent me this, Honey Blends, Brewed Honey. I really love this. So this is similar, um, I don't know if it's the same amount of wax, four ounce, I think this is more. Five, five point four ounce, four ounce. So this is their travel size tin, their old packaging, and then this is the honey collection that they came out with. This was really nice. It really did smell like a good honey and black tea. I really got a black tea from it, which is lovely. I like that. And another one that they sent me for a review, uh, again from Root, is Illuminate uh, Juniper Rosewood. This one again, um, these small ones have done just so well. And this one was a wood wick as well. So crackling wick. Really like that. And then I've just, I think I've pulled out all of them. So um, there shouldn't be, anyway, I think I pulled out the rest of these little travel size tins. Oh, come on. Uh, we've got lemon frosted scone. Loved it. It was not cleaner lemon to me. Sparkling champagne to date, the most realistic champagne and non-offensive. I am, um, yeah, this is beautiful. There's more of the citrus and less of the that champagne-ness. Like, this is definitely more of a sparkling cider, like an apple or whatever, and it is a champagne, but this is the most realistic champagne scent that I have melted or burned melted thus far. Many vendors have tried champagne. Um, it can be, for my nose, too offensive. Um, the champ, like the alcohol, is it gets, I don't know if it's bitter, there's a scent there that I don't like. Even drinking champagne, which is not my favorite thing, like I'd rather have a glass of red wine. Um, putting that glass to your lips, you can sort of smell and you get the, you know, the, the tickle on the nose is cute, but um, the smell of champagne can sometimes be like, just, just sip it and like hold your breath. That's just me. 
Pineapple papaya was nice. Probably out of all of them, not my absolute favorite. Tiramisu was really, really nice as well. So again, and their travel size are awesome. Oh, two more, I forgot I have two more. The best chocolate scent that I've tried in 2017. Um, I actually would say for chocolate, this is more of a dark chocolate scent, whereas Bath & Body Works Hot Cocoa and Cream is more obviously like a milk chocolate and like marshmallowy or like sweet. This was a fantastic chocolate scent. Now, Myra and Kyla, I don't know which video is going at first. They sent me a couple of little votives of Yankee Candles chocolate layer cake, which I'll melt down and melt those. And so we'll take a, we'll see how that goes. So creamy decadence was also another yummy, yummy one too. Mm, yeah, definitely creamy. So again, uh, I get such good luck with travel size. Even in my big spaces, I, like in my home here, I feel like I get a lot. Hickory and Clove from DW Home. That's a one wick. Another one wick, maple hazelnut. As much as I live in Canada, I should love the smell of maple. It's just too much for me. I realize that maple, and then you put maple and cinnamon together, or maple, cinnamon, and caramel, and it's just like, I'm tapped out, I'm done. Like, it's just too much for me. And it's strange because I'm not a floral person. I love bakery, and I love fresh scents and laundry scents and I do love sweet things but caramel like really ooey gooey caramel maple and cinnamon I'm kind of done and you know what here's the thing <laughs> with better homes and gardens I know this is the states but with better homes and gardens sensational is also in Canada I feel that fall of 2017 they went so nutty with the pumpkin scents there's more to fall than pumpkin. Let me just, I know this is probably the wrong video to share this with, but yeah, there was way more fall, or there's way more to fall than pumpkin. And pumpkin to so many of these companies is, oh, let's throw cinnamon with this. Well, let's do some more cinnamon. And there's way more than that. So anyway, although I did get lots of amazing scents from those brands, uh, Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals, I did find that a lot of them were just too heavy on the ooey gooey, my teeth want to fall out of my out of their sockets kind of thing. Christmas cookie, this was okay. It, it burned really well, actually. It's a Yankee candle. It just didn't get much of a throw, if I remember correctly. That was near the beginning of 2017. My friend April, love you April. I hope you're watching. I, I love you. Uh, Valespa's Prosecco Rose, she sent me this here. Um, funny enough, now I tried a smaller jar of this and it threw a lot further than this one here. Now she sent this to me for Christmas last year and I burnt it, I think like the very, like this time last year, so the very beginning of 2017. And it, it's good, I love that smell. I just didn't get as much of a throw as I'd like. Watermelon Lemonade from the Hobnail Collection from Bath & Body Works. Oh, where's the lid? Oh, there you are. Um, uh, from Sensational Pure Natural Soy Candle Company, this is in Peppermint Stick. Although it did, you know, fairly well with burn. Now because it tapers in at the top, of course there's a little more sitting. If it was the same width around the top as it is the rest of it, it'd probably be less so. Um, if I remember correctly, there was not much of a throw, but it did burn all the way down to the very bottom. So you have to appreciate that. So for ambiance, it did well. This is Blanc, Blanc Fleur de Jasmine. DW Home 2 at Candle for a floral. I could, I could do I could do with this. This is okay for a floral. I'm not huge on florals, but that was nice. Oh, I do have another, oh, we'll get there. A Kind and Wine DW Home repurposed wine bottle, black cherry Merlot. So what they did is they, uh, DW Home, I got this at Winners, they repurposed wine bottles into glass jars for their candles. It, those were all a miss for me. Anything that I ever had from that particular line no. Um, honeysuckle from Root Candle. Again, this is the older package. This was okay. Um, definitely Honeysuckle. Um, it actually reminds me just like, I think, I don't know, if, a charm can. There's a, for those of us ladies out there who are, grew up in the late 70s, early 80s, remember those little charm kins? Some of them had smells like there's, anyway, that reminds me of charm kins. Or a charm, char, sorry, or a charm kin. Uh, this is a Velispa's Japanese Plum Blossom. This again was a lovely gift. 
this was really nice. I love the jar. I love the illumination. Something that you can repurpose um, and use it for something as well. Um, didn't get much of a throw from that one either. Uh, blackberry mango. Yeah, right? Yeah, blackberry mango from from Root. Another one of those travel size tins. I really, really enjoyed. This one was okay. Amber and Tonka from DW. I did pick this up in 2016 and finally burnt it in 2017. It was okay. This is the candle that at the... Obviously, I burnt it in 2017, so it would have been... I think it was my last, if I remember correctly, my last throwback Thursday, winter edition for like 16, 17. So winter editions are November, December, January, right? No, December, January, February, that's the winter edition. And um, this was the last one that was selected and it's the one who got, tipped me over to the fact that I don't like cinnamon. Ugh, holiday spice. Again, there's more to holiday and spice and Christmas and everything than cinnamon. Now I should have realized there's, it's hard to see, but there's little cinnamon sticks right there. Not a fan. Golden shortbread. This one was probably my, my favorite out of the group that I bought the DW home. This is winter frost collection. Again, another sensationals. Where was that candle? Where did it go? I have, I have candles everywhere. But, oh yeah, so from the same company as this here, we also have Sensational Candles Natural Soy, and also found it at um, DW, or at Winner. It was it was girly. It was definitely girly, and it, I will say, like you can sort of see, it burnt, it burnt right down to the bottom. So just like the other candle, it burnt really well. Like there's no wax in there. Like there must be a suction of <laughs> for the wax. No joke, you guys. There's no wax in there. Scary a little bit, but also you got your money's worth, I guess. But that was really, that was nice, but um, don't think I repurchased that one. Another Colin Canary that I burnt, uh, pe uh, Peach Pies and Cute French Guys. I love the names. They sent this one to me um, because I did a review. I purchased a peach, I purchased a candle just like this and I had such issues with the wick and the burn. They saw that from Instagram and then on my channel that they did send me a replacement and they were hoping to fix their wicks. But unfortunately with all the other ones I've purchased, it just didn't, just didn't do it for me, unfortunately. And a brand that I don't like. <laughs> I have tried so many from this brand and because I can find them at the discount stores fairly easily. Now I realize not all things that you find at the discount stores should be at discount stores. There are some real good gems out there. But this particular brand I have had zero luck with. And I've probably, again, look at my playlist. I have probably burnt about 10 to 15 of these candles and I've gotten zero throw. And that's from Trap Fragrances. And this is in Lemon, lemon Sugar Cookie. Meh, I don't really, I don't understand, don't understand the hype. Um, so along with my three wick candle video, again, I don't know which one's going up first for my three wick Bath and Body Works candle video, I will pull from this here that I burnt from 2017, um, and sort of like a top video. I don't know how many, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't know. I don't know how many I'm gonna have in my top video, but I will pull the ones that I really enjoyed and had, uh, you know, for whatever various reasons. Um, and share them with you guys as well. Uh, but that won't be right away. I have so many things to do. <laughs> I am really busy. I'm really trying to squeeze in almost almost every day I'm uploading, if not every other day. Um, my phone can only hold so many videos. So <laughs> I'm trying to like upload, film, upload, film, upload. Um, and with my videos being fairly long lately. So anyway, you guys, I really do appreciate everything. I thank you so much for your support. There's been so many more like new subscribers this year. I'm very, very thankful. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I haven't lost my love for candles. What I have lost my love for is the fact that some, a lot of candles seem to, um, to afterwards they come, become a waste, a waste of my time and a waste of my money. And I'm not getting a candle crock. I buy candles because of the ambiance and the, the scent and things like that. If I, you know, so as we've, I've already kind of beat that one enough, that whole point across and many other videos, but I, I have not lost my love for candles. In fact, I do enjoy candles. They were my first love 
uh, Bath and Body Works, I think, opened nearest me in 2011, and from there on, I was hooked, and I've, I've loved Bath and Body Works for so long, and then I started getting into Winners and Home Sense for us in Canada. Those are our discount stores. That's where I was finding a lot of these DW Home candles, and then Root, Root Candle Company was the very first company to offer to send me anything with no expectations. They just wanted to send me something. If I wanted to do a review, I could. And they have been, you know, obviously, and Josh sent me a lot of those travel tins and the blue basil, um, uh, to, uh, sorry, the blue basil one. And um, they have been very gracious to send me candles to review. I've liked most of them. I've let them know. Some of them I don't. I let you guys know the same. They were the only ones so far that I found an issue with a candle that I've let them know and they've actually asked me to take a photograph at the bottom and you know what, they, you know, they're like, we're gonna look into it and see if there was like a, like a, some sort of issue. Hey, first of all, no one had to even say that. You didn't even have to ask for that. So I appreciate that when a company actually, and also Colin Canary, even though I didn't enjoy any of my candles, they at least saw my review, saw that I was having some struggles with their candle and offered to send me a new one in replacement. That is good customer service, I will say. Um, that is that, I'm not gonna go on too much further because it's already been a while, sorry. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day or evening depending on when you're watching this. And as always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.